welcome to this week's garden video. Feels kind of weird filming an intro because he took a couple of days off and I am just back from traveling and rambling. That washing machine in the background is me doing all of my holiday laundry. I left my garden for 10 days. I did have um, my pals staying in my house, minding Blondie, and they watered my plants for me, which was amazing. So my garden isn't looking too bad. So I need to do some maintenance. My sunflowers have given up. <laughs> they have finished. In fairness, if you saw my previous videos, you know I had a good run at the old sunflowers. So lots of tidying up to do. I've got 10 days worth of grass to cut. Um, because it's been very droughty, um, it hasn't been raining much in Ireland. The front grass hasn't grown much. It's still patchy and baldy and scorchy. So that's not too bad. Just need to tidy that up. Before, I'm gonna put in some footage next of just before I went away because I potted my apple tree that I bought in my previous video and eucalyptus which is right at the door and I potted it and in the last video a lot of you guys were saying eucalyptus if you plant it in the ground can get huge well already <laughs> the eucalyptus I love the smell of it uh, the eucalyptus that I planted in a pot oh it just smells so good like medicine and I'm congested at the moment so eucalyptus is like my friend my friend it's already gotten big so I'm going to show you the footage then I'll show you how my garden is looking 10 days later Okay, 10 days later. It's actually not too bad. Um, the sunflowers, they have all pretty much gone. So I'm gonna tackle this box and just completely cut it back, keep all of the seed heads, tidy this up. Um, the grass in some areas is obviously bigger. I can hear a toffee. Hello, toffee. <laughs> Were you minding my garden for me? Oh, you are so chunky. Chunky boy. Um, the dahlias are doing great, but as you can see, everything just needs to be deadheaded. So I did some deadheading before I left, but loads of deadheading to do here. Cabbage, huge. <laughs> These have done great. And I don't know if they were watered, but I gave them a good soak before I left and they're doing their thing, which is great. See all of the mulch. Oh, my Spotify is just after turning on on my Apple speaker thing. I just love when my um, thing possesses itself and starts randomly playing. Anyway, snapdragons look like someone, I think a toffee, <laughs> jumped into bed and had a little sleep because these 
flower heads or petals and there's a perfect cat shape in the middle so I think someone must have been having a little nap in there but yeah cabbage is looking amazing um tomatoes they were a little bit dry but they're okay and um, there's still fruit on them I gave them a good drink last night and I'm going to feed them um strawberry runners doing okay apple tree gave it a drink um, I was worried that I had potted it and then went on holiday so you can see a little bit of crispiness there but I'm going to give it a good feed and hopefully it will be okay. Dahlias all just need a good deadheading. This hydrangea is looking very miserable so what I'm going to do is see the old flowers. I'm going to tidy this up, give it a little trim and leave the brand new ones on it bird bath doing amazing now oh the hedgehog is there okay in turkey they call let me zoom in yay oh hang on so in turkey they call hedgehogs kirpi so c oh no k i r p i kirpi so that's the name for hedgehogs so i was like i think i'm gonna call them kirpi because it's so cute I also noticed, can you see the little purple flowers on this? This is like a type of mascari, um, but it's a shade loving plant and I wasn't expecting to get flowers on it because um, I thought it was more of like a spring thing. Hang on, I zoom out. So this is where I just kind of need to tidy up a bit. The lupin that has finally, that just finished flowering when I was gone so I can cut that back. Echinacea is doing okay in there and I have some floppy verbena so I just need to tidy this up and give the grass a trim but like not too bad this verbena finished flowering as well so the white flowers have finished on that. Something that did do well is this random um, delphinium that I thought I had killed. If you remember, I was saying that I had planted one and I accidentally snapped the stem back in spring, but it's after actually grown. So there's a little August delphinium. That is a surprise. Um, I know for a fact there is nettles and weeds in there. So I definitely need to do a bit of weeding. And the grasses that are at the pond are looking a bit wild, but I don't mind it, it's all right. At least I have a bit of height down there. So yeah, let's tidy this place up. Before I get into tidying the garden, I wanted to share my garden lesson and apologies for my washing machine in the background. All my holiday knickers are in there. My garden lesson this year is don't plant new plants in summer. And what I mean by that is in my last video, I planted some Shasta daisies and some new Rebecca and planting those plants, planting a new plant, you have to water it more often than you would established plants because the roots can't, the roots are not developed enough to filter down to get more water in the soil. So all of my established plants, also this might be a the for people who are more experienced gardeners, but I just thought I would share that with you. Sorry, I'm standing here, hopefully my washing machine is not too noisy here. So by planting plants in the heat of summer, it's a no. Um, and I just wanted to fill, fill in some gaps, but I probably should have just made a mental note and been like, okay, I want to put some zinnias in there or not saying is I want to put some Rebecca in there or Shasta daisies or whatever for this late summer colour and maybe just plant them in autumn for next year. And I'm hearing a lot of people, I was watching some garden, I was catching up on garden programmes when I was on holidays. I was just watching them while I was relaxing and uh, I'm hearing a lot of tips about planting plants in autumn because we are having such dry summers um, and springs are dry when you plant a plant in autumn, whether it's, you know, like a, a young plant, you're giving it all winter to establish itself. Now also just bear in mind, if once it's not a tender plant, so if it's not frost hardy, so um, the likes of, you know, perennials as well, that's what I mean, so perennials. And I'm also hearing people uh, sowing their annual seeds in autumn for the following year and um, because you're getting like a stronger plant now obviously they would have to be kept in 
a greenhouse or a polytunnel or somewhere warm in your house because most annuals might not be frost hardy. So go by your growing zone. Um, I can leave all my perennials and stuff out because we don't get really, really harsh frosts. I say that very lightly because mother nature and the weather, we all know. Just from chatting in the comments with people, some of you have had from chatting with people in springtime, like severe snows and snows that have been lasting ages and the same guys are now saying that they're having absolutely scorched heat wave weather. Um, so there's extremes kind of happening which if you're a gardener we're kind of just battling with it aren't we. So that's my lesson, don't plant new plants in the heat of summer. Silly me. Someone gave a great tip and it was if you plant a new plant to for the first week to water it every day and then the second week water it every second day and then the third week water it every third day and then that new plant should have kind of established itself. I plant a new plant, give it a can of water, forget about it for two days, it starts shriveling and I'm like what's wrong with you and then I have to give it more water so this is just for new plants if you are planting. This is me also procrastinating about cutting the grass and doing my bits but oh, let's get into it. My garden looks so much bigger with all the sunflowers gone because the sunflowers had grown so tall and they were growing all summer so I just chopped the heads off and let them dry out and I'll just like collect the seeds but there's like so many seed heads now I did leave this guy because he's fresh and I noticed there was bees on those and then these over here so these are like dead sunflowers but growing off the sides are these little mini ones and again I'm just leaving them for the bees so they can do their thing and what else 
yeah I just did all of the like deadheading now later on this evening when it's a little bit cooler I'm going to feed everything um, I'll probably use some like miracle Grow or liquid seaweed um, on some of the plants especially like more so the ones that are in like pots and stuff also I think I might need to stake the apple tree it's leaning against the wall and it seems a bit unsteady in the pot so I might stick a bamboo in just so that the what you call it the trunk can get like a bit of strength and instead of it kind of leaning on the wall so I need to do that and yeah I need to feed all of the strawberry runners and everything and oh this guy isn't looking too fresh <laughs> he needs a drink but yeah, it's not looking too bad. So I think for leaving it for the week, I mean, it could have been a lot worse. <laughs> but I am noticing things in the garden starting to kind of you know, like change. So like the high summer plants are starting to die off and need to be cut back. And loving my evergreen, or not evergreen, my shady corner, because a lot of the plants in it are evergreen. So it looks tidy. Good old Kirby, still asleep in the corner. Okay, so that's my quick recovery. Didn't do much in the front. I just deadheaded some crispy leaves. Didn't even cut the grass because it's it's scorch show. It's like yellow still. Looked at the weather forecast. Says there's rain tomorrow, but my God, haven't you noticed how dry it's been? So let me check my weather. It says for tomorrow, 70% chance of rain from the morning but like I'm finding even with the weather apps it's like yeah there's rain and it's literally a piddle of rain it's like the ground is too dry that when it does rain it's sliding off it because the ground is kind of like clay any water that I tried to save is gone so hopefully like I said in the last video plants they're more resilient than we think they'll come back next year <laughs> one extreme to the next anyway I'm just happy I still have plants and I've, I haven't come home to a completely crispy <laughs> garden. So that is me for this video because I need to go in now and hang up all my knickers that's in the washing machine and catch up on all of the things that I've missed while I was gone and yeah hope you enjoyed it. Cheeky thumbs up. I'll put a playlist if you want to check out my other um, garden videos where you can see the sunflowers in their full bloom and everything looking nice and yes subscribe if you're new. Cheeky thumbs up for my OGs and I'll see you in the next one.